High cholesterol is a leading contributor to cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks and strokes. According to the CDC, approximately 86 million U.S. adults aged 20 and older have elevated cholesterol levels. What if I told you that a commonly prescribed cholesterol medication, whose name begins with the letter S, might be associated with an increased risk of dementia? This revelation could be concerning for many patients. Can this medication genuinely lead to dementia? Or is it simply another internet myth? What is the scientific basis for this? In this video, we'll discuss the potential side effects of a widely prescribed type of cholesterol-lowering medication used in the United States and globally, and what this means for those currently taking it. Are you or someone you know taking cholesterol-lowering medication? If so, you might want to pay close attention to this information. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the possible link between this cholesterol medication and cognitive health. Before we dive in, I'm curious, which cholesterol medication are you familiar with or currently using? Feel free to share in the comments below. So, what is this medication that might raise the risk of dementia? If you guessed statins, you're correct. What exactly are statins and why are they bad for our brain? Statins are highly effective medications that help lower cholesterol levels. They're among the most prescribed drugs in the U.S. Names like atorvastatin, rosuvastatin, and simvastatin are probably familiar to you or someone you know. Statins come in two types, lipophilic and hydrophilic. Lipophilic statins, such as atorvastatin and simvastatin, are fat-soluble and can easily penetrate various tissues, including the brain and muscles. On the other hand, hydrophilic statins like rosuvastatin and pravastatin are water-soluble and primarily work in the liver. The worry about statins and dementia isn't new. For example, Elizabeth, a 65-year-old woman, had been taking statins for years when she began experiencing confusion and frequent memory issues. Concerned, she began researching possible causes. One day, she came across an online article discussing a study that links statins to an increased risk of dementia, which prompted her to take the issue more seriously. Most people think statins just lower cholesterol, but there's been a lot of talk lately about whether they might also mess with your brain. Some say statins could cause dementia. Others claim they might actually protect against it. So what's really going on? Well, the answer is yes. Some of the most commonly prescribed statins are linked to developing dementia and something called mild cognitive impairment. You might be wondering, why do some folks claim that statins can reduce your risk of dementia? Well, the truth is, it can be true. It all depends on the specific statin you're using and your initial cholesterol levels. What are the specific statins in dementia risk? All right, let's talk about specific statin medications. If you find out that your current statin is linked to a higher risk of dementia, don't just stop taking it without chatting with your doctor first. They can easily switch you to another option and I'll let you know which ones are safer. So which statins are tied to a higher risk of dementia or mild cognitive impairment? It's a group known as lipophilic statins. Statins fall into two main categories, lipophilic, fat-loving, and hydrophilic, water-loving. A statin can penetrate the brain more easily based on two factors, its dosage, higher doses, and its lipophilic nature, since the brain is about 60% fat. Check out this chart from Pharmacy Times Magazine. It shows that the most commonly prescribed lipophilic statins are simvastatin and atorvastatin. On the other hand, rosuvastatin and pravastatin don't enter the brain as easily. So if you're worried about this, ask your doctor to switch you to one of those. So what are the studies saying about it? At the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging, 2021 annual meeting, intriguing research revealed that PET scans of individuals taking lipophilic statins showed a notable drop in brain metabolism in regions initially affected by Alzheimer's when these cholesterol-lowering drugs were used in specific situations. According to researchers at the University of California, Los Angeles, taking lipophilic statins, such as atorvastatin, simvastatin, lovastatin, fluvastatin, cerevastatin, and pitavastatin 
seems to more than double the risk of developing dementia compared to not taking statins. Unlike hydrophilic statins that target the liver, lipophilic statins are distributed throughout the body's tissues. Here's the weird thing, though. Other studies found the opposite. They showed statins might actually lower your chances of getting dementia. One big analysis looked at 36 different studies and found that overall, people taking statins had a 20% lower risk of dementia. So what's going on here? Are statins good for your brain or bad for it? To figure this out, we need to look at the evidence more closely. Some folks are a bit hesitant or downright refuse to use statins because of all the buzz and rumors on social media about potential side effects on brain function, especially for older adults. There were some early reports that linked statins to reduced cognition, and even the FDA raised a flag about these possible side effects back in 2012. Naturally, this has made some people wary, which isn't great because sticking to statin use is super important for keeping your heart in good shape, both for preventing problems and managing existing ones. But honestly, the research results have been a bit all over the place. That's why a recent systematic review and meta-analysis looking into the connection between statin use and the risk of dementia or Alzheimer's disease is such a big deal. This study, published on December 6, 2021 in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, pulled together data from 36 studies and found that statins actually lower the risk of dementia. For Alzheimer's, the risk was also reduced based on 21 studies. The benefits were consistent across genders, worked for both types of statins, lipophilic and hydrophilic, and were even stronger with high-potency statins compared to low-potency ones. The takeaway? The authors are confident there is not enough evidence to make a solid conclusion on the effect of statins on cognitive function or dementia. Plus, they're backing the idea that statins should be used for both preventing and managing cardiovascular disease, even in older adults. After all, lots of older folks were included in these studies, and the results are pretty reassuring. These big studies are important because they give us the clearest picture. But they're not perfect. People in these studies were taking different types of statins at different doses, and the studies weren't originally designed to look for this specific link which can make the results a bit fuzzy. Dementia is tricky. Lots of things can affect your risk of getting it. Some of these are things we can't change, like our genes or how old we are. Others are things we might be able to control, like high blood pressure or diabetes. All of these factors can muddy the waters when we're trying to figure out if statins are having an effect. As we mentioned before, not all statins are the same. Some are what scientists call lipophilic, they dissolve easily in fats. Others are hydrophilic. They dissolve more easily in water. This matters because it affects how easily they can get into different parts of your body, including your brain. Some studies have suggested that the hydrophilic statins, like rosovastatin and probostatin, might be better at protecting against dementia than the lipophilic ones, like atorvastatin and simvastatin. But the evidence isn't clear-cut. We need more research to know for sure if this difference matters. It's also worth noting that statins might have other effects on the brain besides dementia risk. Some studies have looked at whether statins might help prevent or slow down Parkinson's disease. Others have looked at whether they might cause nerve damage in some people. But again, the evidence is mixed. We need more research to be sure. If you're taking statins or thinking about starting them, what should you do? If you're taking statins, don't stop without talking to your doctor. The known benefits for heart health likely outweigh any potential cognitive risks for most people. If you're worried about dementia, focus on things we know help. Exercise, healthy diet, mental stimulation, social connection. Stay informed and look for information from reputable medical sources. Remember that medical knowledge is always evolving. What we know today might change tomorrow. When thinking about any medical treatment, consider the whole picture. Don't focus on one potential risk or benefit in isolation. If you're experiencing memory problems or other cognitive issues, talk to your doctor. There could be many causes, and it's important to get checked out. Understand that perfect certainty in medicine is rare. We often have to make decisions based on the best available evidence, even when that evidence isn't perfect.
Most of the studies we have on statins and dementia are observational. That means scientists look at data from people who are already taking statins for other reasons and try to figure out if they're more or less likely to get dementia. This is useful, but it has limits. Maybe people who take statins are different in other ways from people who don't. Maybe they're more health conscious overall, or maybe they have better access to healthcare. These differences could affect their dementia risk regardless of the statins. For now, the best evidence we have suggests that for most people, the benefits of statins in terms of preventing heart disease outweigh any potential risk to cognitive function. But science is always evolving and we need to stay alert to new information. In the case of statins, we know they save lives by preventing heart attacks and strokes. The evidence for this is overwhelming. So even if there was a small increased risk of cognitive problems, which again, the best evidence suggests there isn't, for many people that risk would be worth it to avoid a heart attack. This brings us to an important point about how we think about medical risks and benefits. We often focus on one potential risk or benefit in isolation without considering the bigger picture. So while it's important to stay vigilant about potential risks, it's equally important to appreciate how far we've come and to remember that the goal isn't just to avoid risks, it's to live the fullest, healthiest lives we can. Sometimes that means taking calculated risks based on the best information we have at the time. You might be curious why someone with normal cholesterol levels would still be prescribed a statin. Nowadays, even those with normal cholesterol might be given statins because they help lower the risk of heart attacks and strokes. So here's the takeaway. If your cholesterol is high, any statin can help reduce your risk. But if you have normal cholesterol and are on a lipophilic statin, don't stop taking it abruptly. Have a chat with your doctor about your concerns. They can help you switch to rosuvastatin or pravastatin. The statin dementia question is likely to remain a topic of research and debate for years to come. But for now, the weight of evidence suggests that for most people who need them, statins are a valuable tool for protecting health, not a threat to it. As always in medicine, the key is to stay informed, ask questions, and work with your doctor to make the best decisions for your individual situation. If this video helped you out, why not give it a quick like and share it around? It could really help someone else looking after their memory health. Do you or someone you know take any of these cholesterol-lowering medications? Drop a comment and let's chat about it. If you want to stay in the loop with more health tips, just hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We release new videos every week. Your likes and comments really keep us going. They show us what you want to see more of. And before you go, check out these two videos we selected specially for you. I think you'll love them. Have an awesome day and remember to take care of your brain. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.